It's time for the video that I think that a lot of you guys have been waiting for. What I eat during my diet. I started my diet three days ago. This is the fourth day. And so far, I've been feeling great. I love being on a diet. I love having a meal plan that's ready. So much easier because I don't need to think about, you know, what to eat to dinner, what to eat for breakfast. It's already done and I just need to follow the plan. The hardest part is staying consistent because, you know, life. Um, last weekend, we were at a wedding in Denmark, uh, so I couldn't stay consistent with my diet. But the key thing during a diet is to go back to your meal plans as soon as possible and stay consistent for as long time as possible. So before we go into the diet, I already had breakfast because now it's like 11 o'clock, so I need to eat. But I'm gonna tell you my plan, like my thinking of this whole diet. Currently, my weight is 85 kilos. My goal is to go down just below 80 kilos. So 79.9 and I will be very happy I think maybe I will change maybe I will continue to go down maybe to 75 kilos depending on how I feel and how I look however I'm gonna lose five kilos that's something that I know that I'm gonna do and I don't have a time period really but I think it's gonna take me like two months or so one and a half month two months and my calorie intake right now is 2300 calories and this is the starting point It's gonna change i'm most likely gonna decrease it by like 250 calories in maybe like two weeks or so but i will tell you when i get there so right now this diet that i'm gonna show you right now is roughly around 2300 calories and we're gonna start by the breakfast I use an app called My Fitness Pal to log everything that I eat and it's really easy. I totally recommend everyone to use this app um, because like I said, like you can log most of the stuff here and then you know how many calories you have eaten and how much calories you have left to eat. So we're gonna start with the breakfast and for that I eat one deciliter of oats. I mix it with milk and water and once I get it like the consistency that I want, like it's not too watery and it's not too firm. That's the way I like it. Then I take it off and I finish it all off with putting on some seeds on it. And that's your personal preference. Like I don't even count the calories on that. So other than that, I have ja usually once a day, either in the mornings or in the evening, uh, but just once a day. Then I also have a protein shake. And that's my breakfast. And I love having oats because it makes me feel full for a very long time. Like I'm okay until like 12, one o'clock during lunchtime. So I don't need to have a snack between breakfast and lunch. The days I go to school, I bring my breakfast with me. And that days I don't make oats like the way I do when I'm home. I just mix everything up in a shaker. So I put one deciliter of oats, one deciliter of milk, mix it up with my whey protein and some water and then I use shake it. Totally recommend this one to everyone that doesn't have that much time in the mornings or don't like eating breakfast. Like this is a quick way to get some food in. And then my lunch is a two food scramble and I just love this. This is the first time I'm including two food in my diet and this is just great. So this meal has 30 grams, like almost 35 grams of protein in it and it's 500 calories. So it's a bit much calorie wise, but it fits my macros and I just love this. I think every day this is the, this is the meal that I look forward to the most. And sometimes I have it as lunch and sometimes I have it as a dinner. After this meal, I have a snack and it's usually some yogurt or we call it kvari here in Sweden, uh, which has a great amount of protein. So I have 250 grams of this yogurt and it has 24 grams of protein, which is very good. And this is between my lunch and my pre-workout meal. So just my yogurt. Or actually after lunch, I have my Celsius, which is my caffeine drink, and but it only contains four calories, so I don't count that. But yeah, I wanna be fully transparent, and now you know. Now we have my pre-workout, or actually intra-workout, because it's something that I drink during my workout, which is two scoops of EAAs, creatine, 
and 40 grams of carbs. A lot of people always say that this is like waste of money, just eat food instead and stuff like that, which I understand. But having this kind of carbs is like the fastest carbs you can get to your body. If you eat like, let's say rice cakes or bread or potato, or whatever before workout, that's something that your body's gonna digest and it's gonna take time for your body to use the carbs that's in the food. However, if you drink like I do, then your body is gonna take the carbs instantly. And the reason why I drink it during workout is because I wanna have energy and to lift heavy and do the most out of my workouts. So that's why I have carbs during my workouts. And then we have the post-workout, which is my protein shake. And I mix this one with uh, a banana and peas and oat protein, which is another supplements that I use. The reason why I use this one is because I want like different type of protein source. I don't wanna have only whey protein, which is milk protein and soya protein that mostly my, my diet contains of. So I included this one and this is actually the first time I do that just because I want to mix stuff and get different kind of proteins from different protein sources. And then after about 30 minutes or so, I have my dinner, my post-workout meal. And this usually contains of a rice or pasta. And I'm very, very hungry right now. I just wanna eat, but the calories and the macros, we have 80 grams of pasta, and then we have 125 grams of uh, soya fish, which is basically like fake meat. And I mix it up with uh, like tomato sauce and, uh, and some spices and all done. And then we're on my final snack, which is the night meal. And I have another 250 grams of this yogurt uh, kvari. So basically during the whole day, I have 500 grams of this yogurt. So around 50 grams of protein comes from this yogurt right here. Together with the yogurt, I have 16 grams of almonds and uh, just to, to get some nice fat. Uh, as we all know, uh, nuts, cashews, stuff like that, have good amount of fats that you need. And I get mine from this almond. And of course, this is not enough, like you need more fats. And some of the fats is also from the oil that I put in my food, which is usually olive oils. Uh, so I get some kind of fat from there too. All right, everyone, so that's it. That's what I eat in a full day. And the total amount of calories is 2300 and the total amount of protein is 250 grams if you're interested i'm also gonna make the recipes let me know in the comments below and we have a fun video making food thank you so much for watching this one and i'll see you guys in the next one